And boys and girls, Santosa proudly presents On the Wild Side. And now the Kickstarter performers, we're going to get Sasha, our brewing gold before, to raise the welcoming flag for everyone. Ready, Sasha? Hey, I'm looking down at the ground. Yeah. Okay, that's right. She's just checking the table just to make sure everything is okay. All right, give it a good pull. All the way to the top. Yay, wonderfully done. Thank you very much, Sasha. We'll see you later. Good girl. Good afternoon. With different cultures and backgrounds from worlds apart, with skills that are passed on from generation to generation, here you will see them all come together to share the same dream. Hello, my name is Joshua. Allow me to be your guide as I bring you on this magical journey that stretches across continents. And hopefully, by the end of this performance, you will come to have a better understanding and a deeper respect for all these beautiful animals that are sharing the earth together with us. Here in Sentosa, we hope to achieve our vision of living and working with nature. Now, take a look over there. <laughs> now, this is a very common sight even up till today in the many villages that are found all around Southeast Asia, where man and his partner monkey work hand in hand with the coconut plantations, well, to help us harvest coconuts. We have this beautiful young lady making her way to the stage over here. Now this is Mickey. And Mickey happens to be our 10 year old female pig-tailed macaque. Now in case you're wondering how they got the name pig-tailed macaque, well take a look. See that tiny little tail? That is why they're known as the pig tail. Please look at her tail. Don't look at anything else, okay? Some of your teachers laughing. I know what you all are looking at, huh? Not Okay, now in a moment she's going to make her way up towards the coconut tree and she's going to harvest a couple of coconuts that we've hung up there. There she goes. Now normally the males are used for this job because they're about twice the size of the females. Being that much bigger, they're very much stronger. So they can easily pull the coconut down or even the whole top of it. But that doesn't mean the females can't get the job done. Being smaller, their hands are able to go in between the whole tub of coconuts to grab one and they can twist it to bring it on down. Now a good working macaque can actually harvest more than a hundred coconuts in a single day. It is for this reason that is why for years human beings have employed these, these monkeys to help us with our coconut harvesting operations. Good job, Mickey. Now for all your hard work, what would you like everybody in the audience to do for you? Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey would like you to. <laughs> She's really the first size. She saw a lot of handsome boys down here, huh? all around the same size, same age. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Now, as you can see, Mickey over here, well, <clears throat> she's treated like a celebrity, so wherever she goes, she has a very old bodyguard in the form of Sunny over here. Now, before she leaves, Mickey being a very polite young lady that she is, that's right, we talk a lot of manners because we deal with guests every single day. So before she leaves, Mickey is going to wave goodbye to everyone. But I'll need your help here. When Mickey waves at you, I'll need you to wave back at Mickey. Or else you'll be wondering who is she waving to. Okay? Alright, ready Mickey? Okay, wave goodbye to everyone. Bye bye! We'll see you later! Hey, wave over the way! Hey! Your eyes! You're breaking your heart! Did you? Huh? There's some of you wave, but then the rest of you don't know where you are. Ah, right? Okay, one more time, huh? Remember, huh? Mickey wave, you also must wave, okay? Okay? Alright, ready Mickey? Okay, wave goodbye to everyone. Bye bye! Hey! Obviously, Mickey just wanted to show you her biggest um, asset, and that happens to be her very big, big bum. Yeah, she's very proud of it. That's what she likes to show up all the time. Okay, yeah, good. okay now, from the coconut plantations here in Southeast Asia, we're going to move all the way down to the Amazon rainforest of South and Central America. And I'm going to introduce you to a very handsome friend of mine, and it's coming up right behind me. There he is. When I say handsome friend, I was talking about the bird, not the guy, huh? Ah, the bird very handsome, okay? Ah, okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Simba. And Simba over here, he's our hybrid macaw. More importantly, he's a very intelligent bird. You're a smart bird, right? Yes, you are. In fact, he's so intelligent, he can actually count. Even better, he can add numbers together. And I'll prove that to you, so watch carefully. As you can see, we've got a whiteboard on the table. Now, what I'm going to require from you are two numbers that Simba can add together. Pretty simple, right? Okay, someone on this side, can you give me a number please? Two. two. Okay, can I get a two? Ready to point two. Two. Okay. Now, someone on this side, I'll need another number slightly bigger than ten. One hundred. Okay, eleven, eleven. Can I get any eleven please? Eleven. 
Okay. All right, Chiba. Come on over here. Let's take a look at the numbers. Can you do 2 plus 11? Can I? Okay. All right, we're going to do 2 plus 11, ladies and gentlemen. Now, first of all, thank you very much for the numbers. Sometimes when you ask for numbers, children tend to give us a few hundred or a few thousand, which is almost impossible for him to do. Why? Take a look at it. You realize he doesn't have fingers like you and I. It's hard for him to count. And he only has four toes on each foot. So they're really big numbers, it'll take him a very long time to count his toes over and over again. So smaller numbers are easier and faster that way. That's why I need to take 100, huh? If not, we have to wait here very long to a count, count. And shh, don't tell him the answer. Shh, don't tell him. Okay, you didn't listen, huh? You didn't listen, huh? You must do on your own, huh? Now, as you can see, the numbers have been placed in no particular order. Simba has to find the answer to 2 plus 11. You sure you can do, huh? Alright, he's ready. Let's go, Simba! Now please give him some time. I'm sure you realize that 2 plus 11 is more than the amount of 2, huh? <laughs> oh, pass hey, hey, hey. Uh, this is the first number you picked up. What is this? You sure or not? <laughs> so 2 plus 11, 13. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, they have it. Simba! Somebody told you the answer, right? You heard them, right? You were cheating here. <laughs> oh. You must do this on your own. You cannot listen. You are not boy. Okay, you can make your way back together with Irwin over here. There they go. Alright. Now then, from the Amazon rainforest, we're still going to stay here in Southeast Asia. Hey, no, no, no. In South America. But we're going to move to the country of Chile. And then a little bit upwards to Southwestern United States because that's where my next friend can be found. Now, she's a lovely young lady. In fact, she's only five years old. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce you to Hook, our Harry's Hawk. Ah, there she is. Wow, see, she's very excited. Now as you can see, Hook over here, she's a beautiful female Harry's Hawk. And all of us here in Tatosa have fallen in love with her. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, ever since her arrival here on this island, that her as in Hook, not Isabel, okay, the bird, huh? Ever since her arrival here on this island, there has not been a single rat spotted anywhere in the entire Alawan Indicator. Okay, I cannot speak for the rest of the island. Maybe other parts of the island got rats, I don't know. But over here, no more rats thanks to Hook. Now, to prove to you what an efficient hunter Hook really is, what I need all of you to do right now, remain in your seats, and if you have a camera, get your camera out, and we'll show you why Hook is such a feared hunter. You ready, Hook? Let's go show them! Now, like I was telling you, Hook over here, she's a beautiful female Harris Hawk, and she's only five years old. Fully grown, the Harris Hawk's wingspan can reach a meter in length. But, if you take a look at Hook, you'll realize that she has very broad wings and a long tail. Now, this allows her for greater maneuverability when she's chasing her prey down through the dense woodlands and shrubs where they live. Mainly rodents like rats. There we go. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, guys, just relax. We want to show you that by nature, the Harris Hawks have been designed to maneuver. We want her to do the maneuvering, not you. <laughs> you and I as human beings, we're very clumsy. We fall down a lot, right? Sit back and relax. Let her do the work, okay? You just take out your cameras and take your photographs. There we go, see? Most importantly, while Hook is flying, please do not stand up. The last time Hook was flying, somebody stood up, they went back home with my hairstyle. Okay? So if you like your hair and your head, just remain in your seats, nothing will happen to you. There we go. Now I'm going to you, Hook over here, she's a beautiful female, Harry Saw. See how graceful she is? Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, I want a nice round of applause for Sunny, Isabel, and Hook, our Harry Saw. Thank you very much. <laughs> Finally! You guys are awake. <laughs> Yeah, what do I mean by that? Well, since the start of this performance, I've been looking around at all of my guests. You know, trying to get a feel where my guests are from. I mean, this is Sentosa. We have guests from all around the world every single day. The sad thing is, while the animals are out here hard at work trying to impress you with their amazing abilities, do you know how most of you look like? No, no, some of you are okay, some of you are fine. Most of you, while the animals are out here hard at work trying to impress you with their amazing abilities, your faces were like this. <laughs> Why? It's a bit, you don't believe me? Look, you can see a lot of people, some on the handphone, some like that, not taking photo. It's a beautiful day, there are so many people. But that all changed. 
The moment who came out and started flying, I saw so many of you. Good, you guys woke up. Now I understand, it's not every day you get a bird of prey flying so close to you, right? So it's okay, I understand, some people are scared, oh bird of prey. Tell you what, shall I bring out a vegetarian bird? Oh. Okay, yes or no? I can hear yes, I can hear no. Okay, okay, it's very simple, it's either yes or okay. Those of you who say yes, put up your hand. Wow, okay, okay. Okay, those of you who say no, put up your hand. And those of you who did not put up your hand at all have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's either yes or no. Some people both hands down. Okay, since the majority said yes, we will bring her out. But, from here, in South America, we need to travel all the way around the world to down under Australia. Because that's where my next friend can be found. She's a beautiful girl. We're going to bring her out and we'll have a little chat with her. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce you to the very lovely Sashi. Our greatest Alpha Crescent Cockatoo. There she is. Yeah, don't worry, she's entirely vegetarian. Now I'm going to switch over to this mic over here. Let's see if I can have a clue. Okay, Chalulu, uh, you want to on the receiver? The receiver, H-H. Hello, hello. Ah, it works. Okay, well, darn. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this beautiful lady over here, not, not the one in the glasses, okay? The one in this one over here. This is Sashi, and Sashi is our greatest alpha crest of too. Now, Sashi, thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we do have a lot of children in our audience here today. What would you like to say to all the children that we have here today? Very high-pitched hello, huh? Now, that's a hello for everybody. Now, Sashi, I was telling everyone that birds have very good eyesight. So, um, uh, let's test your eyesight here too. Okay, tell you what, Sashi. Take a look at all the boys. Okay, look at all the boys. Okay, you can look at the men as well, okay? Okay, look at all the boys, look at all the men. What do you think? Are the boys and men here today handsome? Are they, really? Wow, you got some, one boy over there. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Sashi. There are also girls in the audience, okay? We have ladies, we have girls as well. Tell me, what do you think of all the ladies that we have here today? Ah, she thinks the ladies are very pretty. Very good, very good. Now, Sashi, since you're single and available, and you don't have a boyfriend, and you said that the boys here are very handsome, why don't you fly to any one of the boys here and you give them a kiss on the cheek, okay? Yeah. Okay, whichever boy want a kiss on the cheek, yeah, you fly. Okay, yeah, you boys are very handsome, she's a bit shy. Okay, what about the girls? Got a lot of little girls here? You, the girl like, give her... See, all the girls also so shy. Hey, look, what can you look at? Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, normally, sulfur crested cockatoos, they are very social birds, and they bond with human beings very well, so we thought it would be a good idea for her to fly and kiss a yawa. She claims that the reason why Sashi is feeling so shy today is because she forgot to comb her feathers before she came out here. Now, this is just Isabel making fun of me. Nothing to do with combing feathers. You know why? Because I have nothing to comb. Huh? Comb feathers. Okay. If she forgot to comb her feathers, she can comb her feathers now. Okay. Go ahead, comb. What? You don't even have to comb. How are you going to... Oh. You see that? Alright, Sashi, go ahead. Try it one more time. You took there with one week. There we go. Give it a good... Yeah, see? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All the way. It's, ah, there we go. Now, as you can see, what Sasha has just done is something that all birds have this ability to do, is to ruffle up their feathers. Now, why do they do that? Well, in case they have any loose feathers or any foreign object that's stuck inside, like a leaf or a branch, by doing that, it dispels the object so that her feathers can fall back in place nicely. Pretty much like us combing our hair. Not like I have any experience. But now she looks even more beautiful than she was a moment ago. Good job. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for Isabel and Sashi? Very much. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the other mic. This one is very soft. Uh -huh. Ah, much better, much better. Good, good. Now, all throughout the performance, what we've been trying to do here is to bridge the gap between ourselves and the rest of the animals that share this planet with us. 
that is the reason why we're bringing the birds to fly very close to all of you. And some of you guys are like, ah. Now you've seen these birds. Some of them are really big, and well, some of them are not so big. My next friend is someone who is huge, and we're going to bring her out soon. The only problem is, she is so big that I cannot handle her by myself. That's right, that's how big she is. So, before we bring her out, I'm going to have to bring this forward. Uh, and this is very heavy. Uh, 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 uh. It's heavy! It's made out of solid steel. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! The big one is a parrot. Lion. The lion gonna sit up here. Okay, okay, good. Everybody's guessing. Okay, what animal do you think is gonna come out and sit here? Huh? Are you lion? Shabu? Eagle? Lion eagle, huh? Bird? Huh? Dogs? Okay, this one. What would sit on this? Some? Huh? Birds, okay, birds, okay, you got that correct. It's birds. It's not dogs, okay? It's not uh, an elephant or giraffe or whatever. It's a bird, but what kind of bird? Angry bird. Wow, all the children eat. <laughs> Wow, everybody eagle, eagle, eagle. Who said chicken? I thought I heard somebody say chicken. No, 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 okay, it's a bird, but it's not a chicken. It is an eagle. Alright? Yeah! Wow, I'm very happy, okay. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please allow me to introduce you to a former of the skies. This is Strike, our white bellied sea eagle. There she is. Now as you can see Strike over here, she's a beautiful sea eagle. Now watch carefully when she lands on that perch. There we go. Now if you take a good look, you will realize if you are eagle-eyed, Strike over here, she has a problem with her left wing. Yeah, she has a problem with her left wing. It's because she met with a very unfortunate accident about a year ago in Singapore, mainland Singapore. Now, over there, she was actually living on a tree. She had a nice little home on a tree. But because that particular area was to be cleared away to build houses and buildings and stuff like that, unfortunately, a lot of tractors and cranes and lorries, they all came by. They want to clear the area. Now, despite all the sounds and the noises, Strike refused to leave that tree. She didn't want to leave until it was too late when they had to cut the tree down and because the tree was falling, many of the branches hit her wing and it broke her wing. Now, there's only one reason, the children might not know it yet, but there's only one reason why a female of any species would refuse to leave a certain area despite threats to her life. Unfortunately, because of this accident, Strike was the only one that survived. Now, although her wing has healed, it didn't mend properly, which means Strike can never fly again. Now, we all know what happens to an eagle that can never fly. So to avoid such a fate, we over here at Animal Encounters, we adopted her. And we're looking after her right now. And as you can see, she's nice and mm, very robust and she looks very, very beautiful. In fact, because she looks so beautiful, I think she would make really good photograph for one brave volunteer. Okay, now I see a lot of the children. Children, you are very brave. You're, I see, so, so courageous. But children, your hand... Where's the glove? Your hand cannot fit this glove. See the glove? Very big. Okay, so I'll need someone with very big hands, which means an adult. Any, oh, wow, wow. Wow, you see? You see? Do you see this guy in white? He put up his hand like that, no. <laughs> he didn't smile. Ah, now he's smart. He it. <laughs> okay, sir. The one in white. Okay, come on down. Now, sir, when you come on down here, you must smile. You know, we have a lot of children here. You come on around. Let a lot of the children get scared. Okay, stand over there. And Sunny will show you exactly what you need to do. Now, as you can see, Sunny has an extra glove which the gentleman has to put onto his hand. Why? If you take a look at speed, you'll realize that speed has very powerful talons. And that is exactly what she uses to catch a prey. So it's very powerful and very sharp. That's why you must wear a glove. 
Now we're gonna get strike on this gentleman's hand over here. Are you ready, strike? There she goes. All right, sir, look at your camera. Where's this camera? Ah, this lady over here. Ah, look at the camera. Okay, I don't want to be in the photograph. Okay, look at the camera. Smile. Keep your hand nice and steady. Wave to your camera. Ah, so he's not smiling. Okay, now he's smiling. Okay, good. This one you can put on your Facebook and your Twitter, your Instagram, all that. Ah, ah smile. Why is this like saying a pledge? I hereby solemnly swear to look after animals. Wave. <laughs> Wave. Okay, now he's waving. Okay. That's not I hereby solemnly swear to look after animals. I will love them, cherish them with all my life. Okay. Have you got that on camera? Got it? Okay, take one more. This time I photo... Ah, uh, take one more. I photo bomb. Got it? Okay. Alright, now we're going to get the burn off you now. Sunny, uh, uh, when is going to be... No, what? <laughs> okay, okay. Sunny, you might want to take the burn. Okay. He... This young man has never seen a coconut before in his life. <laughs> Okay. Alright, okay, we're gonna get the bird off you now. I know she's rather heavy. There we go. Lovely. Good job. We're gonna take that glove from you. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause? My very brave volunteer. Thank you, sir. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our animal encounters. And now it's time to properly introduce all of ourselves to all of you. There we are. Let me introduce you to all my feathery friends over here. Uh, even the late comers. Hi, Pastor Pastor. <laughs> now, first of all, the one strolling by on my extreme left, ladies and gentlemen, this is Erwin, together with Simba, our hybrid McCall. Standing right next to them, this is Isabel, together with Hook, our Aries Hawk. Over here, this is Sunny, together with Strike, our white bearded CEO. My name is Joshua, and this is Sasha, our blue and gold McCall. Don't forget, the lady who made us sound really good with all this wonderful music. Yeah, and sound effects, our sound engineer, Sunny. Thank you very much, our little wonderfully done. And thank all of you for watching our presentation. Sadly, we've come to the end of it. But before we go, Sasha, my 